think she was the only person that have told me my baby is not Ghanaian enough. So she's trying to let me know that I shouldn't feel like my baby has rights in Ghana. But if I go to the police and tell them that one, do you know what they will do to her? Mm? They will scream at her. Or if I want to go to court now, to go to court and make a case. <laughs> this woman said my baby is not a Ghanaian enough. Or I bring it to YouTube and make a video. Hey, Ghanaians will hate me. No, I can't do that. I am enjoying my stay in Ghana and so shall it continue in Jesus' name. I love my life in Ghana and all the people that love and care about me can see that reflect in my videos. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. But if you are new here, hi, my name is Lillian and today I want to talk about that thing that have been a thing of concern, especially on the YouTube streets. First off, do it to like this video if you have not subscribed. Kindly hit the subscription button, turn on the bell notification, put it on the one that says all, so that anytime I upload a video, you'll be notified. You guys, I get this from people that are not happy with me. Definitely, for one thing, my style of content. Nigerians from a particular region, and especially my style of content, where I speak as I feel like regarding an issue without sugarcoating it because there's someone sitting on that table and that person is my person so i will now see the truth and lie because i don't want to look like a rebel due to that a lot of people are concerned that i'm suffering and smiling in ghana and i have seen this all the time via comment sections and comment section of my videos and videos of people who are angry with my videos of course i watch their videos if i do not watch them how will i learn and learn the hard way <laughs> so i do see their comments and comments of their fans saying that i am suffering in ghana uh, but i cannot complain i am suffering in ghana but i cannot complain because ghanaians will deal with me ghanaians will hate me ghanaians will stop watching my videos so because of that i am suffering and smiling and in this video i want to be very honest with you guys and i also want to apologize in advance because one or two feelings might be hurt in this video now i want to admit that they are saying the truth i have been suffering and i can't speak up because i do not want to lose you guys you guys are all that my life have been made for so i do not want to lose you yeah i've been suffering in ghana but i'm smiling on the internet because i don't want ghanaians to dislike me i don't want ghanaians to cut the oxygen that is supplied to my brain that keeps me alive so that is why i come on here and i pretend that i am enjoying my life in ghana so yes so that is it if you have lived in ghana before as a nigerian you can attest to the fact that every morning if you want to be honest with yourself and to the world especially those of you that do not have youtube channels or those of you that have channels that are not my type so when you wake up first thing in the morning you are supposed to receive 12 lash of cane as a Nigerian living in Ghana, but other Nigerians do complain by calling the embassy, calling the international communities to see their plights. But me, Lily Ogini, cannot because Ghana is my beginning and the end. I cannot complain because I don't want to be laughed at by Nigerians, especially Nigerians from a particular region. And I cannot complain because they will laugh at me. They will say, mm, oh, you good for you. So I'm trying to avoid that. So I have been suffering and sometimes I smile, I cover up. Second thing is, if you are a Nigerian and you have lived in Ghana before, you ran away, you couldn't take it. You, you can attest to the fact that your Ghanaian neighbors, when they wash their plates, they finish washing, they come and pour the water on you. And they, I, they, you are expected not to talk because you are a Nigerian. So some of you have reported them to the U U.S. embassies, but me, I cannot because my oxygen will be cut. The supply of oxygen will be cut. I can't continue. Oh, I can't remember the other things I'm going through that I'm not sharing with the world because I am a Nigerian living in Ghana. Fine. That is just a joke. 
is me being sarcastic is me sounding the exact way these nigerians from a particular region want me to sound because that is how they do things they see fault even when there is no fault now let me tell you guys the truth i have i enjoy i'm enjoying my life in ghana because ghana gives me the opportunity to live that quality life that i have always dreamed of that life where you can cook once a week a life where you get to just basically not leave your house if you do not want to leave your house a life where you are not afraid to leave your house because you are a woman because if you leave your house at some hours and go to some specific places you'll be raped so i am enjoying my life living without the fear of these things and i Another way again is I enjoy my life because as a single mother in Ghana, it is a normal thing. Like nobody cares if you are a single mother or if you are or if you are a married mother. In fact, as a single mother, there is this empathy that people have on you. There is this sympathy that people have for you when you go for something and you complain to someone. Oh, please, I'm a single mother the person will give you discount and not just discount but massive one without judging you now there was a time i wanted to install vodafone they call it vodafone ah i think a fellow youtuber a fellow youtuber introduced me to that network what's the name i can't remember it but if you know what i'm talking about please comment down below it's a vodafone wireless something that has to be connected on my pole close to apartment so i had wanted to do that and i already paid for it i paid a total sum of 550 cities to to vodafone and i paid directly to vodafone account you know what that means that's a company account and not just a company that's a big company's account so you know that once money goes into that place it does not come out like that if i does not suppose it's not supposed to come out yeah it comes out maybe in two three months so the guy who is in charge of that by the time he sent the agent to come for installation and then they realized that my residence has about five pole away from me so it's going to cost them so much to trace and connect that and given the fact that they have not authorized them to do that so they were I was told that they cannot continue they cannot install for me now the guy that Chris Chris is the guy that is handling my pushes he is supposed to write back to vodafone and apply for refunds so that vodafone can refund me yeah and that was going to take more than a month and i needed money at that time because i want to use that money to buy another plant and i told chris and i said oh my god i'm a single mother oh, how will they return this money i hope they do because i really need this money because if i should go back to my post and take another money to continue to purchase and take another money to purchase an alternative plan for data is going to affect my monthly upkeep for the kids and he was like oh you're a single mother oh i get that i get that all right so drop your momo number and i did and then he paid me from his own wallet he uses money to pay me chris if you are seeing this video comment down below i'm going to share the link of this video to chris on whatsapp so that you can come watch this video and leave a comment he is not subscribed to my youtube channel at some point i told him i'm a youtuber but i didn't tell him the name of my channel he's not even subscribed to me he's not aware of my channel so now i'm going to send him this video so he can come and see himself here how he maltreated me for being a nigerian so these are the issues and now chris refunded me he gave me 550 cities telling me that when vodafone refund the money to me i should send it back to him he does not know my house okay he knows my house address yeah he knows my house address due to the form i have a feel right yeah he has a copy of my international passport you know the e-copy like i, I I screenshotted and sent to him right so chris trusted me and refunded me about a month later vodafone refunded that money 
back to me but i didn't remember where the money is from i was even on life that day and i started to ask people if they were the one that sent me money so when vodafone refund the money i forgot that is from them so after asking all the people that i know could actually send me money without telling me i they said they are not the ones so when they said they are not the ones you know and i remember that that could be chris's money and at about that time i already spent it what i did next was to write to chris telling him that i have mistakenly used the money and i'm sorry if you wait for me by the end of the month i was going to pay uh, Chris didn't have a problem. He waited patiently. Immediately, I laid hand on my salary. I paid Chris his 550 cities. Chris and I have not met since that day. But the day I went for a program at Black Star Square, I didn't even know Chris because if I see Chris, I will not know him. Usually, he does not have a DP on his WhatsApp whatever so he's not using his picture on his dp but when chris saw me there he walked up to me and said oh lily hi i was surprised so see, see these are the issues now this is a Ghanaian man now look at what he did he took the risk i could actually told him i'm not giving that money back and nobody nothing will happen to get it he knew all these things and he knew the possibility of me not giving him that money if i don't want to give him because people will blame him why did you pay her they will even ask him maybe you ask care for something else and she refused to give you to get it so now will i come and sit down here and start lying that they are maltreating me in ghana just to make nigerians from a particular region to feel good Come on. Now, I am not a toxic person. I was well brought up. In fact, they use iron hand to raise me. So when I see iron, I know iron. When I see good things, I know good things. When I see chocolate, I know chocolate. When I see stone, I know stone. When I see fish, I know it. When I see bread, I know it. When I see bitter leaf, I know it. So now there was a time, I don't know how many of you remember the time a Liberian woman reached out to me that she is looking for her mom, who at that time was the woman that was looking for Mercy Johnson Okoje, the Nollywood actress. I don't know how many of you could remember that time. So when I contacted those guys, a lot of things happened. I believe you know what happened if you were there, if you were, if you have been following me since then. So a lot of things happened between me and them. It was not really nice. We had a back and forth. We were really dragging each other on YouTube here. Guess the people that fought for me the most. I would say the only people that fought for me were Ghanaians. Ghanaians stood up for me. You could see their comment section cursing these guys and believing me a foreigner. So how again am I going to say I'm okay in Ghana for people to believe me? Ghanaians actually fought for me. They were telling, in fact, they carried the matter for their head. Now, do I want them to go and kill these people physically and roast them in my favor before I can see that they are on my side? They were telling me to go to the police station. They were telling me to go to all the necessary places if I don't feel safe. They condemned this guy actions. They they hated them. In fact, they didn't want they did, they did not even want the guys. In fact, they did not want this guy's side of the story. A lot of them were in my DM. A lot of Ghanaians from all around the world were on my DM telling me to stop explaining. They believe me. So how again am I going to enjoy living in a country? I mean, can I even get that VIP treatment back home? Because people from a particular region will feel like that is too much for me yeah it has to be for them they will say it, those ones are the ones that deserve it i don't deserve it because i am from I come from a small tribe in nigeria i come from a state that is well behaved and that language some people don't know it so now how again am i going to make myself look am i going to sound insult Ghanaians to make me look like a patriotic nigerian how by insulting them lying on them that they have done me bad when they actually have not i have the fear of god in me if i lie against them I'll, there will be consequences there was a time i had this mobile money scammers because then i was not at home and i recently opened that mobile money accounts for my niece in fact by the time i went out and returned my niece already got scammed by these guys so i know i came on here to talk about it post the number here complain about it i know of course 
some Ghanaians that have never commented on my videos before, that have never seen my videos before, it's their first time of watching my video. They just start, you know, going on to dragging me. We dragged each other where at each other's neck but the ones that knows me a majority of Ghanaians did not have anything against that video in fact they were telling me to, <laughs> to do what i can do because why did they say that because themselves then they scammed them where we're for this mobile money scam how am i going to come sit down now and lie that i'm not enjoying my stay in ghana i'm not paying Okay, fine. I go to the market. I'm paying differently. According to some Nigerians, they say if you don't speak three, you pay differently. I know Ghanaians that uh, they speak three. But when their fellow Ghanaians noticed any um, foreign accent in their tune, they charge them high price. No, I can't do that. Mama taught me to appreciate everything and never to be ent Mama taught me never to be entitled but to appreciate everything given to me. So it's entitlement mentality that will make you not appreciate a people or a country or a tribe or someone. For me, I appreciate everything, especially the good. Mm -hmm. When it comes to you, you don't do, when you look at me like this, don't you know that I'm troublesome? A Ghanaian cannot do me and go. Hmm? A Ghanaian cannot do me and go. How? Like, I have no, I can't remember having issues with any Ghanaian. Yeah, I have, maybe, of course, am I ice cream that I expect all Ghanaians to love me? Am I money? Am I God? Am I Jesus Christ? I mean, like, of course, if I have one or two Ghanaians, like my baby daddy's girlfriend and himself, that have issues against me, that is not because I'm not Ghanaian. It happens to everybody back home in your country. This can happen to you. Where a woman will just make sure that she's bent on destroying everything between a man and a woman because she, for her personal gain. Yeah, I don't get it. I think she was the only person that have told me my baby is not Ghanaian enough. So she's trying to let me know that I shouldn't feel like my baby has rights in Ghana. But if I go to the police and tell them that one, do you know what they will do to her? Mm? They will scream at her. Or if I want to go to court now, to go to court and make a case. <laughs> this woman said my baby is not a Ghanaian enough. Or I bring it to YouTube and make a video. Hey, Ghanaians will hate me. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. Okay? Never. Never should I, will I ever lie on anyone just to make me look like a uh, honest, good Nigerian. So... I am enjoying my stay in Ghana and so shall it continue in Jesus' name. I love my life in Ghana and all the people that love and care about me can see that reflect in my videos. Alright? I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and that I will see you in my next one. Bye!